Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Saturday in the second week in Ordinary Time. The Memorial of St. Agnes, Virgin and Martyr. St. Agnes died a martyr at Rome during either the second half of the 3rd century or more probably at the beginning of the 4th century. Pope Damascus adorned her tomb with sacred poetry and many of the fathers of the church following St. Ambrose have honored her in their writings. We will now have the morning prayer of the church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are His people, the flock His shepherds. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Forty years I endured that generation, I said. They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. My Lord Jesus Christ has espoused me with His ring. He has crowned me like a bride. O God, You are my God, for You I long. For You my soul is thirsting. My body pines for You, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on You in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I am a spouse to him, whom the angels serve. Sun and moon stand in wonder at his beauty. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. 
All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Rejoice with me and be glad, for I have taken my place with all the saints in the kingdom of light. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take the rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-aged third in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who choose what is weak in the world to confound the strong, mercifully grant that we who celebrate the heavenly birthday of your martyr, Saint Agnes, may follow her constancy in the faith through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Kindly be seated. Our reading from the letter to the Hebrews. A tabernacle is constructed, the altar one, in which well the lampstand, the table, and the bread of offering. This is called the holy place. Behind the second veil was the tabernacle, called the Holy of Holies. But when Christ Jesus came as high priest of the good things that have come to be, passing to two the greater and more perfect tabernacle not made by hands, that is, not belonging to this creation. He entered once for all into the sanctuary, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling of a heavenly ashes can sanctify those who are defiled, so that their flesh in flesh, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself and blemished to God, cleanse our consciences? 
from death works to worship the living God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God mounts his throne to shout of joy, a blast of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King of all the earth. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord, amid trumpet, trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts His throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of His praise. God reigns over the nations, God sits upon His holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. Please all stand. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory to you o lord jesus came with his disciples into the house again the crowd gathered making it impossible for them even to eat when his relatives heard of this they set out to seize him for they say, He is out of his mind. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Medyo hindi po kaya-aya yung ati ibanghelyo ngayon. It doesn't really sound good at all. It's too short, napakaiksi, pero ang lakas. Can you imagine the families and the relatives of Jesus telling him he is out of his mind? Kaya sabi ko, kakaiba tong ibanghelyo natin ngayon. Maiksi, subalit ang lakas po ng mensahe nito. Ang lakas nga naman ng mensahe because it tells us something. This very human tendency, the tendency of men to complain. Pinapakita po sa napakaiksing ibanghelyo ngayon, mga kapatid. Yung isa yung sinasabi natin, sakit ng tao ang mag-complain. Complaining because of lack of patience and obedience. Complaining sa harap ng Diyos. Bakit? Kulang sa pasensya at ayaw sumunod sa Diyos. Kaya napakasimple, sabi ko nga po, napakaiksi. But, ang lakas po ng mensahe nito sa atin. Kaya magandang paalala sa atin, kumusta ba yung ating relasyon sa Diyos? Kumusta ba yung ating buhay panalangin sa tuwing tayo na nanalangin sa Diyos? Kumusta ba yung ating buhay spiritual? Of course, lahat tayo nagdadasal. But again, as I have said, human tendency ang magreklamo. Lord, matagal na ako nagdadasal, ilang beses na. Pag inuon, pabalik-balik na ako dito. 
wala pa rin. Reklamo, sabi ko nga po, sapagat kulang ng pasensya at ayaw sumunod. And these two important components are so essential in our prayer life. Sa buhay panalangin natin, kinakailangan ng pasensya. And of course, I think the most important, yung pagsunod. Firm obedience to God. Nakikinig ba tayo sa kanyang mga wika? Sumusunod ba tayo sa kanyang mga sinasabi? Madalas yung mga taong kulang sa pasensya, ito yung walang direksyon. Pansin ninyo, yung mga taong kulang sa pasensya, walang patutunguhan yan. Kasi madalas sa mga taong kulang sa pasensya, pabago-bago. Napagod agad, ayaw makapaghintay, bago na naman. At the end, walang patutunguhan. Ganun din sa atin, sa buhay spiritual natin. Kung kulang tayo ng pasensya, Walang patutunguhan ang buhay spiritual natin. At madalas yung mga kulang sa pasensya, yun yung mga na, na, madalas nagre-reklamo. Pangalawa, obedience. Again, as I have said, very important in our prayer life. In fact, sabi nga, tunay na madasalin ang taong tunay na sumusunod. Kaya nakakalungkot yung mga taong hindi sumusunod. Dasal nga ng dasal, kulang naman sa pagsunod. An obedience is so important. Kaya yung mga taong kulang sa pagsunod, ayaw sumunod, ganun din yan. Yan yung mga taong hindi lang kulang sa presensya, mayayabang pa. Kasi akala nila, sila ang dapat masunod. Yung mga taong dada ng dada, ang daming sinasabi. Katulad sa Ibanghelyo natin. Telling Jesus, He is out of His mind. Dada ng dada, reklamo pa na reklamo, judgmental pa. Again, as I have said, my dear friends, the gospel today may be too short. And yet the message is so important. It's all about our relationship with God. At kinakailangan natin ng pasensya sa ating pananampalataya. Sa buhay panalangin, kinakailangan ng pasensya. At higit sa lahat, dapat bukas at handa tayo at buo ang ating pagsunod. Hindi pwedeng sa buhay panalangin, ikaw ang masusunod. Hindi sa buhay panalangin, ikaw ang nagsasalita. We need to be silent. We need to listen, to be able to fully obey God. Mga kapatid, yung ating Ibanghelyo po ngayon is simply the end part of the Gospels of the past few days. At pinakita po dito sa Ibanghelyo on this last day of the week, the total opposite of the people of the previous days. Kung babalikan po natin yung kwento simula nung lunes hanggang kahapon, Jesus was so preoccupied, was so passionate in His ministry. He was with people. He was with, the, with sick people. And at the end, yesterday, He appointed His companions in His ministry. And you, you will see from these people na kasakasama ni Kristo. Sila yung mga taong may pasensya. Sila yung mga taong naghintay, patiently waiting to receive God's grace. Sila yung mga taong bukas at buong sumunod sa Diyos. And what happened to them? They were cured from all their diseases. Sila ay gumaling. Sila ay nakatanggap ng biyaya. At sa buhay panalangin natin, tunay nga naman ganun. We have to wait. Kinakailangan ng pasensya. 
at kinakailangan ng buong disposition na sumunod sa Kanya. For us to be able to receive God's grace. Mas higit na mararamdaman mo ang grasya ng Diyos kung ikaw ay may tunay na pasensya at obedience sa buhay spiritual. The people in the story of Jesus for the past few days ay ang mga taong may pasensya at buo ang pagsunod. Kahapon, Jesus appointed His 12 apostles at titignan niyo yung buhay nila. At the end, they patiently follow the will of Christ. And today, at the end of the week, ito yung mga taong walang pasensya. Ayaw sumunod. Nako, I cannot imagine the end of their story. Marahil sila yung mga taong nakasimangot. Reklamo ng reklamo. Ingat tayo dyan, sabagat ang mga taong lagi nakasimangot, alam na, pangit. Kaya kung sa tingin natin, medyo hindi kagandahan yung ating mga mukha. Nako, ingat tayo dyan. Ingat tayo. Again, my dear friends, it's all about our assessing our personal relationship with God. Na sana po sa buhay spiritual natin, sa buhay panalangin natin, huwag natin kalimutan ang mensahe ng ating Ibanghelyo ngayon. We need patience. We need obedience. Please so stand. Let us pray to the Father in heaven that we may learn from His Son, Jesus Christ, what it means to serve. And for every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That we as our church may go out of our own words to serve others with self-efficacy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Those that those in public office may give the best of self themselves in serving the people instead of seeking their personal gain. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That we may show gratitude to those who render service to us in various ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like Mary, we may be attentive to the needs of others instead of being too much concerned with our selfish ends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our missions and for our brothers and ministry at Rumabiara Santo Dominicus and Rumabiara Santo Tomas Aquinas, Indonesia, and San Dominic, Sri Lanka, Santo Anonius General Santos, Kamigin, and Kalayan, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the birthday intention of Reverend Father Ramon Salibay Opi, who is celebrating his birthday today. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa and for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the elderly may find respect and attention from their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord our God, it is not easy for us to help others when it is inconvenient to do so. May we learn from Jesus to be available to anyone who seeks help, and may you give us the strength to do so. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, may dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Agnes win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray. Just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised, their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant you firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. And therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of all until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Agnes, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion, bago po humarap, pakibaba na po ang face mask Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang ostya at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang ostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang ostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po.
What I long for, I now see. What I hope for, I now possess. In heaven, I am espoused to him, whom earth I love with all my heart. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He, he promised, promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This, this was, was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. What I long for, I now see. What, what I hope for, I now possess. In heaven I am espoused to him, whom on earth I love with all my heart. Mga kapatid, simula po sa araw na ito, ang ating pong uh, simbahan dito sa Pangasinan ay magkakaroon ng panalangin pasasalamat after the COVID pandemic. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we receive during the COVID pandemic. For every petition, let us say together, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God for reminding us of the fragility of life, shielding us when no one else dared to shelter us, and opening our minds to what is re really essential. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for allowing us to connect with one another with faith and love, despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help when doing so was both risky and life-threatening for them. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of newly discovered medicines and vaccines to combat the virus and the wonder of natural immunity. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and depressed, lonely and impatient during the pandemic. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Loving God, no thought of ours is unknown to you. No tear we shed is unimportant to you. No joy we celebrate is alien to you. You entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. To you be glory now and forever. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on Blessed Agnes a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, when we pray through the power of this sacrament that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks. be to God. Panalangin para sa mamay sakit. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawal, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, 
They will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Panalangin naman po para sa mga religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, and candles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.